All right. Welcome to day five of Advent of Code in Haskell. We're doing, um, we're helping the elves. I don't know what we're going to help them with, but they need help. And we're here for them. Um, we're writing it in Haskell. The best programming language. What are you going to say about it? Anyway. Ah, little Annie is here. My biggest fan. I'm going to make the chat text a bit bigger. Ah. Hi, little Annie. Little Annie was not there yesterday. But I think I know where she was. Anyway, let's get started with day five. Um, it's a Monday. And do you know why Garfield hated Mondays? Garfield hated Mondays because he was a cat. Okay. And his owner would leave like he'd be home all weekend and then on Mondays he would leave so Garfield was sad because his owner left we all put it as a ah I also don't like Mondays but isn't it just because we miss our pets or we miss our partners I think so see you're not only here for the coding. Anyway, day five, supply stacks. Okay, we're doing final supplies, smart crates, giant cargo crane. Uh, let's see. The elves don't want to interrupt the crane operator during this. Like, okay. Uh, the desired crates will be at the top of each stack. Ah, okay, so we have three, these are the three stacks. And then we move. Stack, okay, so this is like Z and then N. Stack 2 contains M, C, and D. And then this is P. Then there are your orders given. You set the procedure, point your Chris most stack to a different stack. In the first step of the original run, Chris move from stack 2 to 1, resulting in this configuration. Alright. In the second step, three kids move one stack to one three. Crates are moved one at a time. Uh huh. So the first crate to be moved ends up below the second and third crate. Yes. Then both crates are moved from stack two to stack one. Okay, so they moved here. Right? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. We're just gonna reverse the list. The uh, elves just need to know which crate will end up on top of each stack. In this example, the top crates are C in stack 1, M in stack 2, and Z in stack 3. So you should combine these together and give the LC message C, M, Z. Uh, I'm just going to look at the puzzle input and see how it... But Adam code is being... Okay, so we have 9 here. And then it's always move and then digit. Okay. So this is going to be a bunch of... Parsing. Um, okay, let's get started. A day five, new file. Example, example. We paste the example. Now we gotta parse this, so we're gonna take uh, we're basically gonna take until we hit like space and one, right? So that's gonna be our stacks, or let's just take until we hit the, an empty line. Okay, so. Read input 
file path. Uh, let's just start going into strings. List of strings first. Read uh, is going to be IO. Okay, read input fn equals. Uh, let's do it with do because we're going to be parsing it as well. Uh, read file. Let's first split it into the two list. Bam, 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 bam. Lines that read file and then a span break no f return read file fn okay i'm just gonna see what this does input example right Okay, T D five, G T O D five, and A five dot hs, and we run it. Compiling, linking. That means so I'm not. Okay. Yeah. So we do get the containers, and then the number of containers, and then the empty line. Okay, uh, so we're gonna say let the uh, cons, these are the cons, containers, uh, inserts, equals, and oh, we don't actually want the empty line. So break null f return containers, inserts. Okay, now let's say type instruct, let's say data instr. So what information? So there's a, uh, this is a pair. So it's gonna be, let's just say E, I, and it's gonna be a triple, and it's gonna be num, int, target, in, uh, uh, let's say source in uh, test in deriving show let's just make sure this type check yes now let's say instance read instr where import text dot com parser combinators dot repeat okay uh, and now this is gonna be read s uh reads read read prec this is read prec right read prec uh, and there's gonna be some uh, I, it's gonna be like the. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna read P to S of uh, parse where parse equals do. Undefined. Let's say undefined. Uh, what is it complaining about? Let's just check. Yesterday, it's reads prec. Important test there. Okay, reads prec. So do. So first it says a uh, string move. Then I think uh, text uh, parser combinators. Hello, I'm pretty slow with this type of problem. What would you recommend to improve? Do you practice a lot? Do you lead code? I actually do not practice at all, except I, uh, well, I write programs in my work, right? 
And then I do add another code every year. It kind of keeps you, uh, keeps you fresh, right? Mm. Okay, let me do skip spaces. Then we say uh, munch one is the import data dot char is the git. Well, it doesn't like this parse function because uh, it doesn't read. Yeah. So we do munch one a. So this is a num is read at int. Uh, we have to enable language gc Uh Okay, so okay, and then we say skip spaces, and then we get the string from, and then we skip spaces skip spaces and then we get a target no source and then we're gonna do this again skip spaces and then this time it's two and then we're gonna say test and then we're gonna return i dot dot and we had record wildcards Okay, so this is gonna parse an instruction. Now, let's say here, instr, uh, read at map, read at instr. Let's see what this says. Okay, no type errors. Ah, we parse the instructions like that. Okay, now I have to parse a, a box. Uh, but did I answer your question, Trisniak? Like, so how do you practice? Like, I think also like part of practicing is just, um, yeah, just, uh, so like, like these parser combinators, right? Like, you know, I wrote, I've been writing, I wrote them last year, I wrote them the year before that. And then yesterday, I just like, ah, oh, how did I do it again? And I'm like, okay, now I remember, right? And the next time I do it, I'm like, okay, I know where to look it up. Right? I think that's the key. Data box uh, equal B. And then this is just a uh, char. Deriving show a instance read fox where uh, k where parse equals so do a now we don't do string like we do char right We do a char. Okay, we read this. So to read a box, we read a box char. And we do get a C is get P. And then we do char. And then we do um, return B, B, C. Uh, get p. Oh, just it's just get actually. Yeah, I think that. I mean, that's also how I felt, right? That's how I decided to do uh, uh, additive code like three years ago. Like I was just doing a lot of research, and I didn't feel like oh, I'm not doing so. Much. I'm not doing enough research, right? Um, but now I feel like. Uh, I'm doing a lot more research, right? So let's just check the... 
Okay. Now we have to do the parsing. Uh, and this is a bit annoying, right? Because we can't just skip spaces, right? It's like... Okay, so how do we parse these? And uh, now we know how we all know how to parse a container. Uh let's see, does the program state that every stack because all of the stacks here do have uh, at least one, but does is that mm -hmm. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, okay, let's actually just split it at a, so this is like one, two, three, four. I wrote the chunks function, right? Where did I write the chunks function? That was day three or something, huh? Yeah, day three. Okay. Um, let's copy the chunks function. Okay, uh, we're gonna do chunks, and then we are going to say a uh, list of list of strings, and we're gonna map ch chunks for on the containers. Okay, so let's see what that does. Yeah, see, uh, and now it kind of separates all the containers into one. Okay. Um, so, yeah, okay, so let's say, uh, CCs, this is chunk containers. Okay, this is chunks for containers. Okay, uh, and we're turning CCS here. Now let's actually reverse these. Okay, and see, and then we will get like the one, two. Uh, What is the CCS here? Why isn't it, uh... I feel like it's not reversing it? Ah. Okay, so containers... Ah, yeah. Okay, it's because containers is originally just, uh... It's just one string, right? So it's... Huh. Right, we didn't do map chunks. Okay, so now we have the... Uh... So now we have the containers and they're gonna be reversed. Okay, um... Someone wants to promote the channel. I don't need the promotion. Uh, but, uh... Huh. I would've thought, because I have like a, spa a spam thing. Oh yeah, we have a Discord now also. Like, nobody's on it. But I added it, because... Last stream, someone was like, oh, bang Discord, where's the community? And I'm like, all right. Doesn't take that long to make one. Okay. Um, so. 
This is gonna be um, so. This is gonna be the uh, base CCS. Okay, so base is gonna be the one, two, three, four. Okay, and I'm gonna say uh, numcs equals length base. And we're gonna say uh, print numcs. Okay, so then we know the uh, number of containers, right? Um. I'm actually gonna say skip spaces. What if I do skip spaces here as well? Is that okay? Yeah, it still works. So I think if I do a skip spaces here as well, that's okay. Like it will, it will keep going. Okay. Uh, now. This is a list of strings. A list of list of strings. So I'm going to map to the CCS. Uh, uh, let's see. Google. Read maybe. And this is also a nice function. Read maybe. It's in text.read. Import text.read. Okay, uh, so what we're gonna do is that we are gonna say CCS map read maybe at box. Um, this is a list of lists. Map, I think it's map map. And then this will be not a list of strings, but a list of maybe box. Let's see what happens. Okay, just said MP, just be, just be, see, and then nothing. Ah, this is exactly what we wanted. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, um, what are we doing now? Now we know the num CS. <laughs> okay, so let's build the stacks. Uh, ding, ding. So this is each layer, okay? So, um... Let's see, uh, stacks equals replicate empty, so num cs, okay, now we're going to print the, uh, print the stacks, it doesn't want to print the stacks, ah, it doesn't know that. There's another type. Okay, so it's three stacks. Now, okay, we're gonna say this is not gonna be so this is gonna be the a okay, stack par forest stacks equal. Okay, so it's gonna be forest stacks. Okay, and now we're gonna say a uh, um, hold L. So we're gonna say a uh, uh, add it to stacks. Uh, 
add to stack a and then we have the uh, so here we're gonna say uh, fold l uh, stacks parsed stacks and then a uh, add to stack add to stack takes in a a, a list of just the boxes and a list of a maybe box and returns a list of list of box okay so add to stack her okay so cur and then a and then imp okay and this is going to be add to stack stack prime a and we are going to i like how we haven't even started the problem yet we're just parsing this is going to be add to stack prime per imp a, and then empty list where add to stack prime empty empty a Okay, so I don't care about the second one. Uh, nothing SF equals SF. Add to stack. A. This is going to be C, C, S, A. Just B, um, SF equals. Um, so now we have the, the first stack and we have the second one. We have something and then we're going to say that's going to be a CB. So we're going to add a B to the C and we're adding this to a we're adding this to so far. Okay, uh, add to stack C, C, S. Nothing SF is equal to adding just C to uh, SF. Okay, so what I want to say here is that uh, I, there's something probably wrong here. Add to stack prime. Uh, so the cur is this is gonna be a list list of boxes, and uh, it's gonna be a, a list of maybe box, and list list of box, and returns a list list of box. Um, and this is gonna be add to stack and continue. Uh, add to stack. Prime a uh, we need to actually have the rest of the stuff here. Okay, add to stack and then R Okay Add to stack prime P S R <laughs> ah. What I would probably want to do is fold R. No. Okay, so add to stack. It uh, takes in a a B to A to B. Right. Um, There's a list of list of bugs. Now fold L. Takes a B to A to B and a B and then a list of A's. Ah. Mm, but parse stacks is a list of list of maybe boxes, right?
Okay, so add to stack. B to A to B. So this is part stacks is a list of maybe boxes, right? It's got supposed to take a list of A's. Ah. Uh, oh. Every type is wrong. Okay, let's see what this does. Oh no. Okay, and. What am I missing here? Okay, I'm probably missing the add to stack. How can uh, the uh, number of stacks be empty and the other one not be empty? Everything uh, like this. Okay, so we get the uh, D and P is the first stack. D and P. Uh, what is the? Ah, no, this is not the example. Ah, I got D and P. And then uh, C and M. <laughs> okay, something is wrong there. <sighs> okay, we're having some issues with the stacks. Maybe I have to reverse them again. Differently, so DNP and, and CNM. Okay, this is not um, where is said instance. Um, print first stacks. Set MP, okay, that's the bottom layer. And then NC, and then nothing ND. Yes. Okay, and uh, set MP. So I want to, I want those in the first. Um, okay, let's tr just let's just map over these, right? Uh, what if I just do uh, transpose? I need to import data dot list for that.
Then I get a Z and nothing. M, C, D, and P. Which is exactly what I want, right? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna leave it at that. Uh, return. Cat babies. Dollar transpose. Cars stacks. And a map read at inster inserts. I feel like my uh, my uh, completion is broken because I used to be able to do like uh, import data dot maybe when this happened. Maybe. N, M, C, D, and P. Okay, and then we want to uh, reverse these. Okay, we got the stacks correctly. We got the instructions as well. Okay, now. Now let's write the uh, like run instr. Run instr. So this is gonna take a list of boxes and an instr and return a list of boxes. Run instr. Uh, X. Okay. Now. Um, Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually uh, do here a sip. Sip one with this, and then do a map dot from list. Uh, actually, int map. Uh, import data dot int map as I am a uh, qualified qualified import a uh, data dot int map int map okay so it's gonna be I am dot from list and this is, then this is gonna be an uh, not a list of boxes it's actually gonna be an int map List of boxes, okay. Just uh, so we can like directly do the, you know, map the um, like updates, right? Okay, so um, these are our stacks. Now we have run instr, which, which uh, let's just call this Type stacks equals uh, int map box. Okay. Now this is gonna be a stacks. Run instr is gonna take a stack and it's gonna take an instr and it's gonna take us return the stacks. Run instr. Okay. Uh, SDS and then. This is gonna be an I, and we get all the. Okay. So we say a uh, where. Okay. So now we're gonna take a num. So we're going to say uh, equals split at num. 
uh, sts uh, im dot bang uh, source so this is gonna be a mode and rest now new new is gonna be equal to a it's gonna be a source prime uh, no this is gonna be source prime and this is gonna be med and this is gonna be target prime is equal to um, um, it's equal to MED so we have to reverse MED actually reverse because it's taken in reverse plus a uh, STS I am dot bang target okay and now uh, let's look at int maps uh, and now we can just do set key right um, something like that data dot map that's cool uh, data map Ah, we don't do have to do that. We actually just do, uh, we do like this. We'd say, uh, adjust, and then the key, so we're doing adjust, and we'd have a function, and the key is a uh, target, and it's a uh, STS. So, uh, S uh stacks uh prime is a oh my god stacks prime is adjust so we add to the target but we also have to update the we also have to update the the uh the source so we say a uh, insert source and uh, let's see this is actually I am I am uh, insert source uh, STS uh, uh, and this is going to be uh, source prime source prime and we're going to return max prime prime okay uh, now it's complaining here uh, why PR Um, okay, no? Source uh, flip uh, source prime uh, this is going to be stacks now source prime here is a okay i am insert let's see 
fl equals flip i am dot insert source that's a type of flip here takes in an huh maybe i don't need to flip even Okay, so I am adjusting the target. Uh, ah, I, it was desk. Okay, so I think this is how you run the instruction. We, uh, so we, we adjust, so we put the stuff moved onto the destination, and then we, um, uh, we insert the, the edited source. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, task one takes in a list of stack uh, stacks and a list of instr and returns a list of stacks. Yes, so it's actually not like that, but we will read the top ones later. Um, SDS insters, this is actually going to be fold L, right? Uh, run inster SDS insters. Uh, print a task one. So let's see what the result of running this is. CM set NDP. Uh, and that's actually exactly the one we get here. Uh, then we have to now get the first ones of all of these. So, um, Doom, 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 doom. Now we're looking for int map, so I want to get the values. Ah, I can actually put just fold over them, right? And the keys are in ascending order, so that's okay. Okay, so I want to say a uh, I am dot fold a uh, first uh, uh, where first a uh, uh, first of a uh, this is equal to. Uh, First, it's going to be first, uh, and then I have the initial value. So actually, I'm just going to start with a empty string. Uh, first, uh, SF equals SF. So if I get an empty list, I don't do anything. And uh, first, uh, and if I have something here, we see, uh, I don't care about the rest, I'm going to add that character to the SF. I'm gonna read to me a string actually. And actually I have to reverse the string. Now what is the problem here? First it's gonna take a uh, list of boxes and string return a string. And it doesn't want to do that. It's complaining about this pattern. It's just because it is not wrapped. Now it's saying that uh, they have different arguments. Uh, SF. Now it's saying that. Uh, oh. Right. I just said fold out. Okay. Uh, Kid Max type box with a char. Uh, 
I, I, you should, oh, set MC, huh, all right, yeah, sorry, I, I actually already, uh, CM said, okay, let's see what it does for the input, this was a lot of parse wrangling, right, I mean, once we actually got it into the shape that we wanted, it doesn't seem to be that hard. Let's actually see if we got it. Uh, before we start making claims about it. Uh, so it worked for the... Ah, uh, but now, you know. This is task one, right? <sighs> We're not done yet. We're just getting started. Maybe it's super easy. I mean... Actually, the actual thing we had to do wasn't that hard, right? Once we had the instructions and we had the um, the data, right? So TGW SMR BPN. Let's see if this is the actual correct. Uh... All right, we got task one. Huh? Took a long time today. But we did take extra long to parse everything, right? Can I get a woohoo in chat? No. Um, we did take an extra long time to uh, to parse today. We but we like wrote proper parsers and everything. So let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what happens. Let me. Let me just. Uh, I don't know how to... Anyway. We got task one. Now what's task two? Okay. As you watch, you'll notice some art was covering side of the crane quickly. Square room 9000, square room 9001. Air conditioning, leather seats, and extra couple, and the ability to pick up and multi move multiple crates at once. Ah. Moving a single stack f crate from stack two to stack one behaves the same as before. Our reaction of moving three crates from stack one to stack three means that those three moved stay in the same order, resulting in this new configuration. Okay. Eh. So then we just uh, we just don't reverse, right? Run insert two. And we especially especially had to reverse it, right? Task two. Uh, CM, huh. All right, I have to say uh, insert two here. Uh, oh, actually, let's do it this way, right? And uh, here we also say, oh. I should be doing code sharing, right? Like, but uh, I don't feel like it. Uh, okay. We can MCD. Ah. Yeah, so it should be MCD, yeah. And then uh, we get for the second one. Something like this. All right. See? We did so much work in the beginning and just to parse it, right? And get it into this thing. Uh, and then the actual tasks were quite easy. All right. But uh, yeah, we've been here an hour. They're starting to take longer. Um, 
I'm not sure if they're actually harder or if they're just the... Uh, I think the thing is also that they're... Um, now we're like writing the, these parsers, right? So we're kind of doing it in a nice way. Um, so maybe we would have been faster if we just kind of split it. Blah, blah, blah. But this white space here is... Ugh, that was... Uh, that took a bit of rhyming. Anyway, uh, let's see. Git status. Uh, git add a five .hs input example. Commit m a d five. Git push. Okay, so we pushed this up to git. Oh no, I added some stuff. Ah. It was just a change to read me uh, and the web interface. All right, uh, we've got the, uh, we done that to deed today. Discord, uh, this is the Discord. I'm just gonna pin it. And uh, if you guys wanna chat later, that's cool. Um, we'll be back tomorrow, same time, six o'clock. I hope to see you there. But uh, if you want to check it out, this is all on GitHub. If you scroll like below the channel, you'll see the link to the GitHub, link to the Discord, everything like that. And uh, you can check it out on YouTube as well, right? So I'll post videos of the streams back to YouTube. Ah, Edible Monad, you were an hour late. But uh, yeah. We used int maps. We did some uh, parser combinator parsing. And uh, yeah, it worked out. The hardest part was we, we tried one, we failed in the beginning. We were like trying to add to the stacks. Turns out we all you need to do transpose. It does the right thing. I was trying to wrangle it too much. But after we got the data input, then the actual um the actual program was quite easy and then this was super easy i don't know how this was like the task one task two difference right and yeah we could we could merge these into i mean this is the same code to go over but that's the thing with adding the code right we don't really write we like we write we write don't really do the whole uh oh, let's sit down and uh clean it up right we just um we just do it uh, quick and dirty and I think that's okay for these kinds of problems right like if you were in an interview right you know you would just solve the problem they wouldn't be like okay now you've done the programming task now spend an half an hour more cleaning up the code I mean if you were submitting the code maybe but like if you're just doing it on the whiteboard this is fine I think that's how I think of these things like it's practice uh, for these interviews and um yeah, just to keep fresh, you know. It's all about, uh, you know, if you keep doing uh, more difficult things, and I just bumped the white space a bit. Uh, yeah, you know, just keep fresh. Make sure you don't forget how to program, right? Even if you contribute to GHC or uh, Hack on big applications. You also gotta remember these kind of, uh, tiny challenges, right? And you gotta use all these fun int maps and stuff where you know maybe you don't get to use that that much. Um. Oh. Let me check one thing. I want to check if I can do a language. Oh. Uh, oh. Huh. Thank you, Edible Monad. Overloaded record dot record this is the latest and greatest expansion i'm just gonna see what happens i usually do i like this right so now i want to say s s stack okay and i'm gonna do stack dot source wow you see this huh we're using the record dot 
this is like uh it's like programming one on one but we can do <laughs> do it in Haskell now uh that's pretty cool we cannot update it though you need to like define the has field and update and everything um can i do a overloaded record update Dun, 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 dun. Overload record update. Um, yeah, I mean, it only works for like nested fields. I wish I could, like, maybe I have to do. Can I do deriving Haskins? I don't know. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, see you again, same time tomorrow, 6 o'clock uh, European time. That's 5 o'clock UTC. It's like uh, noon in the US. So yeah, thanks for today. And uh, hope to see you again tomorrow. All right, bye-bye.